guys and welcome back to Ozstar Studios. In today's video, we're going to talk to you guys about if you order something from Telstra and then decide a couple hours later you don't really want to get that item. Just say it's ADSL, MBN or Foxtel through Telstra. We're going to tell you a few things that you need to make sure you do before you order these things because there's a lot of confusion when it comes to Telstra and orders. They get a lot of things mixed up. Now, uh, this is my second time I've had to deal with this. Um, so I thought might be a good time to make a video on this particular topic just to update you guys on a few little things that is frustrating when you order something and then you realize no I don't really want to order that I'd order a different pr product so just say you're going to order MBN or something and then you decide I'd rather get wireless broadband it gets very confusing on Telstra's side because they get confused even though the order is cancelled on their side they still send it out and they still want to charge you and then when you cancel it and you've sent back the device, you look at your bill and you go, what, $500 for a modem? That's what they do. And then you've got to call them, wait like three weeks, and we'll tell you the whole process and what you have to go through if you order something online or order it on the phone, and a couple of hours later or a day later before they dispatch it, you cancel it, they still send it out. So we'll talk to you about all the details. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so just say you ordered MBN or Foxtel, and you realise, you just say you realise three hours later and nothing's been dispatched, you go, I don't really want MBN or Foxtel through Telstra and I just want to cancel it. There's two ways to go through this. The easiest way is obviously through the 24-7 live chat, which I highly recommend. Because the great thing is, if they do send it to your house, they give you a little reference number. And you can get this email to your email address. So if the device does turn up and they're trying to charge you, you can say, um, I have a, I have a uh, reference number saying I've cancelled, so I want to send it back. And that way you can send it back for free and you won't get any termination charges at all. If you don't have that reference number at all, basically if you send the modem back, there's a termination charge and sometimes they, yeah, the termination charge can be quite a lot. So make sure, uh, if you're cancelling, make sure you've cancelled it before it gets dispatched to your address. Because when it's dispatched, it's too late. You can't really cancel at all. Basically, you're going to be stuck with those termination charges and much more. I haven't actually cancelled something when it's being dispatched, so I don't know what the process is. Um, it's a good chance I'll say, no, you're in a 24-month contract. You're stuck with it. That's a good chance what they will say. But if it hasn't been dispatched, it's still in the pending order, you do have the option to cancel it either on the phone. So on the phone, they can cancel it, and uh, that can go well. But... You think it's gone well, then 48 hours later you go, I've just got a message from Telstra saying my order's on its way. And then you can't do anything. You've got to wait for the order to turn up, make sure you don't open the device, and then just send it back. And then when you send it back, this is where the process gets insanely, incredibly ridiculous. You've sent it back to Telstra. It's gone. You've got to send it for Australia Post. So it's gone back to, I believe it's in Sydney, to the factory. So you give them the tracking number, and they go, okay, yeah, it's been delivered at the factory but it hasn't been delivered to our warehouse. So the warehouse haven't got it yet. And this can take up to three to four weeks you're waiting for it to go to your warehouse. Now this is a problematic thing when it comes to me, because my bill's due, just say it's on the 22nd, and I'm calling them on the 19th going, uh, I can't wait three weeks because I'm gonna have to pay that termination card charge. And what that termination charge is, it's basically for the modem. So just say you ordered an iPhone X, and then you realize, no, I don't want to have that, and you've cancelled it while it's in the pending list, it hasn't been dispatched, basically your next bill, it's going to have that outright cost of the iPhone. And basically you have to pay that uh, if it hasn't got to their warehouse in time. And then basically your next bill, they'll put a credit on your account. Now, if it's an iPhone, that's about $1,500 your bill is going to be. So you've got to be really careful with this. And this is why I had to make a video on it, because it's a big issue that I have noticed when it's in the pending. You've cancelled, they know you've cancelled it. You've got the uh, reference, I'm saying you've cancelled it, but because it hasn't got to their warehouse in time, even though it has, you can check on the Aussie Post, but they haven't picked it up or scanned it, um, they will leave that amount, just say the phone is $1,500, they'll leave that amount on there until they scan the actual device saying they've got it, and it's in the exact condition that it was on. So it's a bit wrong how to do that, and I just want to let you guys know, be wary of when you do purchase something because um, you could be waiting up to three to four weeks um, with a high charge if you've ordered something very expensive. And you do have to pay that. They won't put a credit on your account until they know that they've 100% received it and it's in the exact condition that they got it in. So yeah, I thought I'd make a little bit of a video with this. Now, a way to um, 
not get in so much confusion. And this is the best way. So obviously for confusion, but it does end up being good confusion. If you do it on the live chat, they give you a reference number. So if the device turns up, um, you can just say, um, I've got a reference number right here saying I've cancelled. So that's one way you can get out of um, not having to pay anything. And then if you know what it is at the post office, just say reject, I did not order this, send it back. That way you don't have to re-package uh, it all up and so on. So that's one way you can do it. But that still leads to a lot of confusion. A second way that leads to a bit of confusion, you can call up Telstra and say you want to cancel the plan. And the device say, I want to cancel, they'll give you a reference number. But sometimes that still turns up. The way that I've found it does not turn up 100% is if you say, you call up the cancellation line and you say, oh, I ordered MBN, but I want to just join wireless broadband. They'll cancel your MBN. 100% the MBN won't get delivered to you, but they'll send the wireless broadband. It's funny how they don't lead to confusion when you say, oh, I just want to have wireless broadband instead of MBN. They'll cancel the MBN order 100%. You won't get any modem that turns up to your house at all. Nothing like that. They'll cancel, but it's funny when you do it on live chat or you just call them on the phone and just say you want to disconnect. They still send it out purposely and they still have it active on your account. And I think that's the main reason they do it is so you might change your mind when it arrives, so going, oh yeah, I might actually keep the service. And I think that's their main goal of why they do it. Because when you call them up and say, as I said before, just say you sign for an MBM plan, then you decide, I want wireless broadband. The MBM plan will never come to your address. You'll never get a technician. It'll be 100% cancelled, which is a bit weird how it all goes around. So I'm hoping this video made a bit of sense. If you were confused at all, let us know down below. That's going to be everything in today's video. Thanks for watching Ozstar Studios. Catch you next time. Thank you for watching Ozstar. To maintain our high standards, feel free to let us know if the audio was too quiet or if the picture were significantly hard to see. We always appreciate your feedback. Alternatively, you can contact our main office at support at gbtnetgo.com. We're open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sydney Standard Time. You can always contact us if something in the video was significantly incorrect. Thanks again for watching All Star. Bye for now and have a great evening.